Why, hello, hey, hey, hey. How's everybody doing? Welcome back. My name is Danielle Coleman, and you are at Dee's Creative Corner. Thanks so much for stopping in. And today we are going to actually do a two-page layout. I haven't done a, a layout or a scrapbook page per se on my channel yet, so I wanted to start getting going and do some creating with you. Um, I hope everybody is doing good. All is well down in Southeast Kansas. And um, all right, I'm going to flip you guys over. I just wanted to say hello first. And thank you so much again for tuning in. Always give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, give me a, a comment. Yay, nay. Work on this, work on that, um, whatever. I appreciate it. So thank you so much. And let's flip over. I'm going to go here. All right, here is my desktop. So today we are going to do, I'm going to first show you this Life Simple Kit here. It is a Creative Memories Life Simple Kit, page one. We aren't going to be working on this. I am just basically scrap lifting and finding the, the sketch. So what I did is I took a few of my papers and I cut them up according to how this kit is. So I'll kind of explain that and um, just wanted to show you what kind of sketch I'm working off of. So here I am, hello again. Um, so what I've done, I'm going to have two 12 inch by 12 inch pieces of paper as my base. And this collection, it's an old Creative Memories. It's Snowbound, it's from 2021. Trying to use up my stash, I work kind of in chronological order. And so today we're going to work on some snow pictures and uh, snow paper. I have my pictures already matted and cut to the size just to try to speed up the process of our video. And so I will um, talk a little bit about those and I'm just going to set those aside. So st I'm start with our 12 inch base and I'm going to just tack them down on our 13 by 13 mats so they don't slide around when I'm working on them. This is pretty slick. All of our, um, I just put a little bit of repositional tape in the two corners and I will tack them down. So um, you can use white paper for your base. I just thought that I would choose this birch paper because we're out in the woods where the pictures are of us exploring our land we bought up in Wisconsin. We bought 80 acres. And so me and the girls and hubby and Harrison were out on the land. So anyway, so here is our... Uh, 12 inch pieces of paper. So what I did is I cut two of these at eight by 10 and we're going to adhere those. And these are directional. So you wanna, when you're working with directional paper, you wanna make sure you cut them right because with these trees, if I didn't cut them right, you'll notice um, the direction would be if I didn't cut them properly. So just wanted to point that out when you are working with directional papers. And so I'm going to tack those down. I'm gonna get my regular, again, these are the eight by 10 pieces of paper that were shown on the sketch. And I'll just put those down, I'm gonna Try to make it not crooked. I am not a perfectionist. You will find that with our creating together. I like to get my pages done and preserved. Uh, I don't, um, I don't dwell on a little bit of something that's crooked. <laughs> so, um, so yes, so if you were to have bought the kit, the kit 
is already pre-designed with your base page and this. So that's where I kind of switched it around. Um, and then you take a 12 inch piece of paper and then I cut it up into the measurements that it had for their design. And so I already pre-cut this so we could move along and I am just kind of dry fitting this and I did make a couple little um, border maker chains and I'm going to adhere that down. Um, these are, I haven't showed you guys the, the actual border maker system yet if you're not familiar with it. It's a fabulous tool. Um, I think I'll kind of put that. See, did I already? It's not even there. And I'm going to put the, pull this up because I'm looking and I'm like, I, I know I'm not a perfectionist, but I want to make sure that they are a little bit, I don't know, I kind of pulled it up. There we go. Okay, that was my little multi-purpose tool that I pulled up that. Um, anyways, so there is that. And then we will, we'll end up putting this over that, but Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the some pictures here. Um, these are, like I said, they're out on our land, and I already matted them. And these ones were three and a half by three. And what I did is I just put them all on one piece of cardstock, so I didn't have to individually mat each one. So I just made this um, the. This is going to be four by 10, this right here. I just made this a hair smaller, so you'll see just a tiny bit. And then um, I'll have a peekaboo pocket and we'll talk a little bit about that. So I'm gonna set those aside and I'll start adhering our stuff down. And I hope everybody has been printing pictures and getting those stories told. Um, like I said, I, I, I try to work in chronological order and it's hard. I have a few different projects that I want to start and I feel like, oh, I have to get my everyday photos done before I start any projects. Well, we shouldn't be like that. We should really just, um, you can have a few projects going on. We all have more. A lot of things and crafts and all that good stuff so we just I guess we just have to work at finding what's priority and consistently scrapbook I suppose so so here I laid those down um, I'm just babbling sorry <laughs> and so then I will take these one inch uh, pieces and I'm gonna just kind of Put them right up there um i didn't really want them i don't know if i should because i'm covering a lot of that um i'm gonna put it up like that and then that will go over like so and then how did i have that i don't that doesn't that doesn't seem right to me but i think we'll just we'll go with that i think that looks okay you know these are 10 inch by one inch strips and then we'll just kind of go from there and we'll put that so let's add here i always grab my repositional how many people does how often do you do that i do it all the time but these life Simple kits are super good for beginners. Um, they come with the stickers and they come with 
directions. It's just like following a recipe. I, I love sketches and different ideas to help guide us to get some ideas and all that. Um, so here, this is a like four by 10 piece and I'm going to tack that down. And we'll just go right about here. A little bit down, we'll put that. Okay. And then we're gonna put this one down. Oops. And there's a bunch of new collections that I want to break open and and do some of these kits and sketches with you guys so um we'll we'll kind of be doing that um how is that looking i hope you, that's okay and then i'm actually a little bit out of the frame here i'm gonna slide up here and then you'll see here this will go tack right there and then I have a four by six photo that was already matted and then these are three and a half by fives that go right in there and then we'll talk about the peekaboo pocket after so I think we'll go with that and adhere these photos down it was so cold up there. This was in January in Wisconsin. So if you guys are familiar with the weather up north, it is chilly, chilly. And um, we wanted to walk, uh, I, like I said, I'm down in Southeast Kansas. So we wanted to walk the land and, and make sure this was what we wanted. And it was a beautiful chunk of property. And so we brought the, my girls and my, one of my daughter's boyfriends out there. It's gonna be great to get all the kids out there someday. This is like a retirement investment that we did. And so I'm just gonna tack these down here. And when I do pages with you guys, I hope to have pictures all the time. I don't want to just make some design because I like, you know, I'm, I, I scrapbook consistently and I, I don't want to not have photos. So that's why, you know, it's, it's May and I should be working on spring or Mother's Day or some pretty photos, but I wanted to get these done. So I thought, well, let's do it online and do it together. So how is that? That's not, that's not too bad. I think this probably could have gone up a little bit further. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dwell on it. It's okay. Um, and then I have my, some embellishments and, some punchies and stickers and stuff that I was kind of playing with. Um, I did a title for Frosty Fun. This was off the Cricut. I usually try, I play with the Cricut mostly just for um, titles. I have a small Cricut Joy and I'm in, enjoying it very much. Um, so I just did a little title. We'll put that right up there. And then, you know, I had, I had, so I didn't have a ton of stickers left from this collection. So I, I don't have a ton of embellishments to adhere and throw down. Um, what I did is I used a snowflake trio punch and, and I punched some little snowflakes that we'll kind of see. And there was three different sizes. And if you see, I, Oh, there's, these are some stickers 
that were in there, but we'll just kind of sprinkle those around the page and see. Um, and I had, you know, I love snow days. I thought that was cute and we'll figure out where to put all this good stuff. I just wanted to, I don't have, and I, I pulled this mat card cause I was like, well, maybe I could maybe do some fussy cutting and, uh, but I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's, let's put this other stuff down and, um, and see where we want to, go with some of our embellishments and I know a lot of people do the visual triangle with um, their embellishments so we'll try to be consistent with that um, you know I, I maybe put I don't know that up here maybe like so I, I wasn't sure the again these things were mat cards and I just printed or punched them out so I didn't know if we maybe wanted to layer a little bit more for that I'm not sure if I I don't I don't think I'll I'll just leave that how it is and then um, and then I thought maybe we'll put you know a little word with uh, maybe a snowflake or something over here. So I will tack this down. Let's get this, the title down. And we'll kind of go nine and three. Actually, let's pull it down just a hair so it's not, so we'll do that. And let's tack that one down. And I could use foam to, uh, foam squares on some of these. I don't use them on every page just because, like I've said before, sometimes the albums get a little thick. Uh, <laughs> already mine are plump full. And if I made foam squares on each one of them, it would would add some a lot so let's see here we'll kind of let's look at some so I think that's okay and then maybe I'll put like a little um, memories or um, not much not much time to or not many options left on this collection. I had tried to use as much as possible, you know, use our stash. So I'll, how about that? And then maybe put a little sticker over there. We'll do some repo tape on that. Let me, I don't have my little silicone mat here. Let me grab that off the wall. These silicone mats are great for our repositional tape. They don't stick to anything. And then how about, we put it just right up there a little bit. Let's, we'll tack that down. Cause I'll probably do a little something for journaling down here. That's, I, I was gonna put a title like they showed on the sketch. And I, I just, oh, I did repositional. I always like to have a little spot to journal because I'm not, I'm not the best at it for journaling, but I'm trying to get better. So, oh, let's see, how many snowflakes should we? I didn't really. Maybe just throw a couple over on over on here. I think that will be cute. Overlap that, and then kind of maybe put one up here. Is that okay? And let's see, what else little stickers do I have? I don't know if I need anything up, any more up, up there. 
I don't want to over overdo it. I I know a lot of um, you know just because this ha to me it, it's a lot of uh, busy with the the birch paper, the trees, uh, this designer paper. I you know I I want the photos to be the story and the the focal point. So I think for now um I'm just gonna. Say that's good enough for now. Um, I, I like the way it turned out and I have like I, so these are peekaboo pockets. And if you don't know, these are additional sleeves that you adhere to your actual page protector once you are done with that. And um, it goes right on top of your page protector, it, it adheres. And then when you have it, you have the, you'll be able to flip it and see additional photos. And I did, I left some room for journaling under here. And then as well as this photo, I'll do some journaling on that. So, all right, I'm gonna flip you guys back over to me. So, hello. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and like I said, um, we'll do different projects and different sketches, different paper packs, and um, give me a little thumbs up if you guys liked it. Thanks so much, and see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.